Hi, Father Rob Longbottom here with the good news at St. Paul School Chapel. This is an exciting, fun week for chapel. This week, we're doing something a little bit different than what we've been doing. We've been doing the attributes or character of God in which we looked at God being kind, faithful, God was provider, God is loving, God is all-powerful, God is all-knowing. We're putting that on the shelf for a week, and we're going to come back to it next week because we are going to talk about a very special day in the life of the church. No, not Halloween, even though that was a fun day. We're talking about All Saints Day, November 1st, this past Sunday. All Saints Day is a day in the life of the church in which we celebrate the saints. For the most part, we think that All Saints Day is about celebrating those men and women who were super Christians or great examples in their generation uh, for faith and Christian practice. Here is a saint. Does anybody know what saint this is? I bet you can guess. Who's the little baby? Jesus. And who's Jesus's mom? Mary. That's right. And we call her Saint Mary. And Saint Mary, we'll get back to her in a minute, is one of the most famous saints that we have. Uh, famous, a saint that's not as famous, at least in the Anglican church or in our tradition, is a guy by the name of Saint Lawrence. But I have this picture of St. Lawrence because it was gifted to me by clergy that I worked alongside up in St. Lawrence County in New York State. St. Lawrence County, where all of our churches were, we really celebrated together St. Lawrence, who was a very amazing man. But let's get back to Mary. Now, when we think about the saints of the church, we often think about great men and women like Mary or St. Lawrence or ones that might be even more familiar to us, St. Paul or St. Francis. St. Paul was a great writer, a great theologian, a great evangelist, and we want to be like him because he was so amazing. Or like St. Francis, who was also an evangelist, but he evangelized through loving creation, loving animals, loving people. And we say, I want to be like him. Or you can be like St. Mary. St. Mary, in my opinion, is most famous for simply saying yes to God. You see, sometimes we think saints are supposed to be super amazing Christians. We think about that when we say something like, well, I'm no saint. Yes, you are. And that is the most special thing about All Saints Day. Yes, All Saints lifts up those heroes of the faith, those men and women who did extraordinary things. But most importantly, All Saints Day is much more about men and women like Mary, who God used because they said yes. Now, do you know who the most important saint in the life of the church is? I'm going to give you a little hint. I saw them right in this picture. Who was this? No, not the specific kids here. I'm telling you, the kids and people of St. Paul's School are the most important saints in the life of the church. What? Me, Father Rob? I'm the most important saint in the life of the church? Yes, you. Whether you're in kindergarten, preschool, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, whether you're a teacher, what is important about this group, about us, is that we recognize that the saints aren't just men and women who live before us, but they're also you and I today. It's whoever say yes to following God in their life, specifically accepting Jesus into their life and trying to live according to his example. That means you and I can be amazing saints. It doesn't mean we have to be super Christians. We just have to open our hearts and say yes to Jesus. Did you know that you are the most important saint that has ever lived? We, together, are the most important saints who have ever lived. Why is that? Because God needs to use us to make sure that the next generation can also be saints. That we can share his love, share his word, share the gift of Jesus with others. So, when we get together in chapel, when you talk more about uh, All Saints Day in your classrooms, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask God to help us to be like those men and women that we see as an example. Not because they were super amazing, but because they simply said yes to following Jesus. 
and to sharing Jesus with others. So I know you can be the saint that God has called you to be. It doesn't mean we have to be perfect. It doesn't mean that we have to be super, super Christians. It means we have to say yes. And when that happens, these most important saints, you and me, living today, will be able to share the gift of all saints with everyone around us simply by loving and caring for them. All right, guys, I'm so glad that you came to chapel today. I know it may not have been one of those super fun ones, but this one is vitally important because I want to make sure that you know that you are the most important and my favorite saints. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And let's celebrate the saints of the church together all week long. And now let's go to the joke of the day.